the face has blown me away with his revelations about the A-Team. And while Mr. T must hold most of the answers, I'm sure in the meantime, the women will have plenty of dirt that needs dishing. In season one, there was a character called Amy. She was dropped after that first season and replaced by an actress called Marla Heasley. There she is. She was stunning. Played a character called Tonya Baker. She also lasted only one season. This show was testosterone soaked. It was all about the cock and balls. And the women didn't seem to get on very well with the men. So I'd like to find out why, and I'd like to find out what the experience was like working on the A-Team for a young actress. So we've got our researchers on it, and we understand that on a Sunday morning she does her shopping in the Beverly Hills region, so we're going to go out there. If I find her, I think it's got to be softly, softly. Don't go airing in, because she may not want to talk about the A-Team. So let's go in soft, let's turn on the JLC charm, I'll work me magic, and let's see if we can get her on board. Because seriously, when I turn it on, women go to shit. Hi. How are you? Rock and roll. You may be your Marla? Really, why would you not tell me? Are you Marla? Uh, I certainly hope not. Jesus, you're a great looking guy. I'm not Jesus. I'm more of a John the Baptist kind of guy. Oh, <laughs> rock and roll. I love it. <laughs> My publicity stunt isn't luring Marla directly to me, so I'll have to sniff her out myself. Hi. Do you know Marla, guys? Do you know Marla from the 18? Marla from the 18? Marla Heasley, is it? Marla I Heasley. know Mr. T. Oh, God. Don't you love him? I love Mr. T. I love Mr. T. I'm going to try and find him for you. No, I like when he says, ah, oh, I pity the fool. <laughs> I love you. Should we cross this street? Let's go. Can we walk? Is this jaywalking? Am I jaywalking? I think I'm jaywalking. Don't stay there, please. Don't cross. Don't jaywalk. I'm jaywalking. You look like Michael J. Fox. Has anyone ever told you that? Oh, no. Has anyone ever told him that? <laughs> you are. I loved you in Teen Wolf. <laughs> he was great in Teen Wolf, wasn't he? And I'm sorry about the shakes. I'm sorry. Walking around Beverly Hills, I haven't spotted one famous person yet. I'm very disappointed. Oh, what, a famous person? No, not like here. Where? Where? Yeah, there. That could be her. Yeah, our names. Was... Marla! 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 Oh my god. Excuse me. I'm really, really sorry to bother you. You wouldn't happen to be Marla, would you? I'm sorry? Are you Marla? Yes. Tanya Baker in the 18? Yes. I'm doing a show called Bring Back the 18 for the UK. Seriously? I'm completely serious. And I wonder if you wouldn't mind uh, giving me a few moments maybe to do a sit down, do a chat about the show. And also, I'm wondering if you'd be up for maybe reuniting with your fellow cast members, the surviving members, of course. Mr. T, Dwight Schultz, Murdoch, Face Dirt Benedict. This is not a joke? This isn't a joke. Would you be up for talking to me and... Sure. Would you, seriously? Yes. <laughs> Come on. I love it. I love it. This is great. Have we got the annual right? Where's the annual Where's the book? Uh, Marla, just to... Uh, to Seal this deal. Would you mind? Look what I have here. Oh, you are so funny. Come on. Would you okay. mind very much signing my, my book for me? <laughs> Absolutely. I that would be great. Oh, okay. Just anywhere randomly anywhere. across Peppard's face. Oh, no. Uh, it's up to you. Marla Heasley, aka Tonya Baker from the 18. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Come on. The A team. You're really the A team. Marla played Foxy reporter Tonya Baker, who worked for the Fab Four as their informer and linked with the outside world. She was brought in to replace Amy Triple A Allen and spent most of her time acting the cocktees to keep the bad guys off the trail of the 80. But like her predecessor, Marla was dropped after just one series. Why do you think you only stayed for one season? Was it your decision? No. No? No. I think probably George fought it. He didn't, I, I don't think he really wanted, I really don't think that he thought that a girl was needed. Uh, my first day of work, I showed up, my call was at five in the morning. I put my things away in my trailer, I went to the makeup trailer, I maybe made it to the makeup trailer like at a minute after five. And uh, George was in the makeup trailer. Now his call I don't think was till seven, but he was there. And he looked at his watch, he said, you're a minute late. I went, oh, okay. And I was young, yeah. and I was really happy to be on the show, um, but that scared me. He was serious? Oh, he was very serious. 
He was really serious. He said, when you're finished with your makeup, I would like to talk to you. Please come to my trailer. I said, okay. Really? <laughs> so you went to his trailer? So I went to his trailer. And he said, have a seat. I said, okay. He said, I just want you to know that we don't want you on the show. He said, we don't want you on the show. He said, none of the guys want you here. He said, the only reason you're here is because uh, the network and the producers want you. For some reason, they think they need a girl. It's your first day on the job. I'm and scared, there's, scared to death. Yeah, you're scared anyway. And there's this George Pepper. Well, when he did that, that's, that just, you know, devastated me. And that's the reason I ended up getting off the show. Actually, the last day of work, my very last day, he took me aside. And he said, you know, I'm, I'm sorry this is your last day, but remember what I said the very first day, that we didn't want a girl. Has nothing to do with you. He said, you were very professional. He said, but no reason to have a girl. So are you up for the uh, reunion? Yeah, absolutely. If I can get everyone together? Absolutely. Marley, you'll be there? I'll be there. What I if I enjoy that. could somehow bring Peppard back? Would you say a few things to him? Bring the ghost over. Yeah, yes. the spirit of Peppard. Yes, exactly. We can, can we, you know what? We could all have a seance. Wow. Huh? Oh, come on. And bring, bring back George. In the streets of New York, dolphins only in for more things. Marla's suggestion of a seance has got me thinking. Could this be the way to reach the main man, George Beppard, and ask him about his time on the 18? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was a big Hummer. Did you see that? So is this it, Sai? Yeah. Okay, this is uh, Madame Francesca, psychic to the stars in a town full of kooks. Apparently this lady is one of the kookiest. So let's go in, meet Madame Fran, and see if she can bring back the Peppard. It's going to be hard, she's never seen the fucking show before. A man with a bad boy reputation, George Peppard starred in some of the major Hollywood blockbusters of the 60s before moving into TV in the 70s. He was originally cast as Blake Carrington in Dynasty, but was sensationally sacked and replaced by John Forsythe after fallouts with the producers. First choice James Coburn was unavailable for the role of Hannibal Smith, so Peppard was eventually given the job as the cigar-chomping leader of the A-Team, the master of disguises and a fucking brilliant minstrel. Don't reach for anything unless you want to see everybody's brains all over the rug. Was he happy on the A-Team? Was that experience a happy experience for him? Let's get more vibrations. Okay. What if he... Please, shut your eyes. He's, he's speaking, he's speaking. You've so... got to be quiet. Sorry. He did okay. not want to leave. He didn't want to leave the A-Team? No, he did not want to leave. The show was cancelled in 1987. It was the number one show in the world. And he passed on, and he's travelling through the night, thinking, why was this show axed? It was the number one show. Yes. Do you think... If I can get an answer to that question for him, he'll be able to move on. Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Can you ask him what he thinks about Mr. T? He's not going to speak anymore. You've told me whatever he wanted to tell me to tell you. Right, and that's it. He's going to shut up now. Yes, he's shutting up. <laughs>